Hey, Jolene. back to the 85 South Show, Black Excellence Business Spotlights. We are in here today with two lovely black ladies, black women, mm -hmm. black girl magic. Yeah, hey, I'm Business okay. owners. Oh man, how y'all doing today? Okay. I got my girl Tasia and See, I, I got my girl Toy. <laughs> I knew you was gonna do that. No, I actually okay. did that. No, we got Tasia and, Ta and Toy. Yeah, thank you. And toy. We were just sitting here talking about names and how I was trying to make sure I didn't mess them up. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're on your toes. What's going on? Nothing. I mean, we're excited to be here, so thank Welcome you. Welcome to the trap. Hey. First of all, thank you for having us. Yeah, this is nice well, little girl, trap. girl, look how Marvin Gaye looking at you like having us. He better stop. <laughs> no, what's up, man? We wanted to invite y'all for our Black Excellence Spotlight. We know y'all have a lot of nice things going on mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So we wanted to use our platform to invite some black business hey, owners on here to it. tell the world about it. I love that. So mm -hmm. introduce your product and yourself. So my name is Toy. 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 <laughs> Um, and I'm one of the co-owners of Four Culture. So it's basically a vegan nail um, lacquer that me and my sisters opened. So it's actually four of us that opened up um, the vegan nail lacquer. And so when we say vegan, that doesn't mean you can, you know, eat it. Eat it's it. not, yeah. Not like the... Well, I'm glad you said that because <laughs> we're living in a time right now where people are using yeah. Gorilla Glue to style their hair, and I'm so glad you said don't yeah, eat it. Yeah, so you're not supposed to eat it, You might have to start putting a warning label we, I on I know. There. I mean, it's not safe. It is. It is. I mean, we had the whole privacy notice, all that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. what vegan basically means is that it's non-toxic, so that means that it's cruelty-free. It's not tested on animals. Right. So um, we wanted to get into, like, a business that promoted clean beauty. Mm -hmm. um, being girls and growing up in a house full of girls, um, we played dress-up, like, all the, time, all the yeah. time. It was always paint your nails, do your hair. Right. So we came up, you know, to... A product that we wanted yeah. to all that we all like to come up with together and we just noticed like in the industry there wasn't a lot of clean beauty products meaning that you know most products had more toxins that were banned in other countries right. so we we're wondering like if they're banned in other countries like why are we so far behind so we want to develop something that was safer cleaner um especially for black women because we are fed more synthetic chemicals in our products than most people who, mm -hmm. who brought it to the table to be like we spending too much money on fingernail polish, or like, what is the idea like spark from? It's a twofold. Because I'm sure y'all, like y'all grew up in a house yeah, with yeah. a lot of women, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just remember us sitting at the table one day and we were just like, well, for one, one of our big goals is to open up our own black nail salon. Yeah. Okay. Where we stay at in, you know, South Florida, where we are yeah. from, there weren't that, there aren't that many, you know, black owned nail salons. Now Atlanta is a different story, mm -hmm. you know, it's the black maker, but, we wanted to be represented, and so we were just saying, I think, did we come home one day and got just mad like, about... No, I think we came home and was like, um, we just want to make more money. <laughs> I think that was it. I think we just wanted, we wanted to find a business to make and that we were passionate about, but, you know, we just didn't want to, like, come out with anything. We wanted to do something we were passionate about, and I think at that time, like, all of our sisters were in some form in the, you know, beauty, health, wellness, and so we try to, like, come together and say like, what all four of us would have, like, a common love for. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we just kind of, like, you know what, we all get our nails done. Like, that's one of the things that we, we just, you know, religiously yeah. are into. And so we were like, okay, so then we started doing our research and started realizing, like, a lot of big brands were more toxic and... I mean, there was just, like, a lot of health concerns that most people just don't know about. Yeah. And so then we kind of were like... Dang, if we did come out with this, I would want to come out with a different type of product that put health at the forefront and not just as an afterthought. So, well, how many palettes or colors do y'all have? We got seventeen yeah, right we now. We have seventeen yeah. right now. That's what's up. Well, no, I didn't even realize. What, at what age do girls start painting their nails? Mm, I thought I mean, young. We five, three, like yeah. playing with polish. Yeah. I mean, we took our young niece to get her nails done like her yeah, five. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So this is start wearing acrylic maybe in like middle school. I don't yeah. know. Word. I, I never knew. I just 
I don't know. You yeah. know, we, you know it, we're, not, we're in a whole revolution right now where <laughs> men are discovering a whole lot of things about women, you know, as far as they beauty secrets and stuff like that. Well, yeah. You know, as far as with the social media and shit, there's a lot of shit going well, on. Yeah. I mean, like, even, like, the buying power, like, with women that are black women yeah. in beauty is, like, over $1 trillion. So we spend a lot of money on yeah. beauty products. That's what I was getting so, into. Like, do y'all have any more products that y'all launching as far as on we, the line? Yeah, we do. I mean, it's a couple things we got to work. Like, um, so our bread and butter is our vegan nail lacquer line. Yeah. That's, like, where we started. And then we kind of moved into, like, press on nail sets. So, like, when COVID hit and all the nail salons were closed, you know, we know how to pivot real quick. And so people weren't going to nail salons. So then we started working with other um, black nail tech artists who were, like, out of work and giving them opportunity to, like, do some sets and sell them on a platform. Yeah. So then we started doing press on nail sets during COVID. And now we're working. Then we launched our Clean Beauty subscription boxes, which is, like, all full-size products of clean beauty, everything around health and wellness. Um, and then from there, I think we're about to launch some other projects, too. Okay, so yeah. out of all your colors, what would you say, both of y'all, what's your favorite shade or hue? Or... I mean, right now I'm being real risky, because this is one of our new colors, but I'm more what's into, like, the red breezy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but my favorite colors are red tones. Um, yeah. That's me. I feel like mine's change. I feel like it depends on the season, you know. So, yeah. I mean, I go real bright. Like, we had, like, this um, forever young yellow color that I like to wear in the springtime. But in the fall, like, I kind of tone it down. So, like, my favorite colors now is the gray, this one here. And this one is called Cuffin' Season. We got to get together on some yeah. names. I got a whole list <laughs> I'm of pro, names. That's the funnest part, like, coming up with names. Naming, naming like, the yeah. Ooh. We yeah. have, like, Ooh. Cuffin' Season. That's my favorite. And Come then, out with some church lady red. <laughs> <laughs> Box Chevy Blue. Oh, I mean, oh, I like that, I like that Ooh, one. Trap Girl Green. See, we did a Rich Auntie, but now we yeah, need we to change Rich the Auntie. auntie. We did rich yeah, you know auntie. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah not, no, not Ooh. the cool auntie. She the rich auntie. Yeah. You should yeah. have a whole line of just like scammer shade. Oh, my. Scammer <laughs> shade. Ooh, just like shades for scammers. I mean, what colors would those yeah, be? Ooh, money green. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, well, Swago Red. <laughs> <laughs> Chase Debbie card blue. Ooh, Stop. these are hidden. No, these are, I need to write this down. No, those yeah, are good. No, for real. The scammer collection. I like that. Yeah. Mm. Some real quick. That could just be a random color. <laughs> like what color is that? Girl, it's just some real quick. Oh, that's name of it. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Ooh, I dope. like that too. I, we could. We need to collab. I just want to do the names. No, yeah, I, need a literally, like that's our hardest part, like coming up with names, like. And it's four of us, so it's like if somebody don't like a name, I'm like, I don't like that name. Go Ooh. back and forth. And we go like, back and forth. Back like, and what's forth. that process like being in? Like, so you got all your sisters involved yeah. in this. You know, it's so hard to get a group of women to agree on anything. So I has know. there been any back and forth, or like y'all got a process now? What is it? You know, that's that's the working process. <laughs> yeah. That's the working process. I mean, I think that. I mean, we, we've been getting better, but yeah, yeah. there have been some times where it's just like close to Zoom call right, and right, just right. like walk yeah. away. But, we got attitude um, problems, all of us. So. Yeah. so have y'all split up the whole like business? Like you do this, you do this. We had to. That. I mean, it got to the mm -hmm. point sometimes it's like, okay, I quit. Like, Take me off the LLC. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, like, what's your specialty as the, you know, like in the, in the role of sisters mm -hmm. and then like in the role of the business? Like what's your, your I would say role? I'm more um, media relations. PR because I actually do it on my like everyday job. Right. So I do it and bring that part of it to the business. So I'm like PR. Toy is more like um, social media. Design, creativity, yeah. social media. And then my other little sister, Ty, she's more social media, creative design. And then my other sister, Tiana, she is um, finance, accounting. She's going to make sure all the money right. We can come up with like cool ideas and she's just pulling sure, out the books sure. like, nah, yeah. that don't make sense. Like, yeah. yeah. So have y'all always been like, on some collab type stuff with everything, or this is our first project is like the sisters. Doing we the are, job. as sisters, we are very close. Yeah. Like, um, we do everything together, really. We were, yeah. So, I'm, like, we're like best friends. Right. So, it only made sense to hold, just start yeah. a whole Yeah. And we know each so. other's attitudes and we know our strong points, you know what I'm saying? And we can take feedback from each other for the most part. I mean, Sometimes. until it gets some times we close the computers and stuff like that, but yeah. Okay. So, how's business? I mean, what has been that, that moment where it's like, okay, this is, this could be it. something. You know, I think like we we had a boost in business last year, like during yeah. um, you know COVID. 
Especially because, like we said, the nail salons mm -hmm. were, were closed. A lot of people wanted quick and easy ways to get their nails done, just to press them on, press and go. Right. Um, but one of, I think, our biggest moments that stood out for us was when we kind of got recognition by Candy the Housewife. Yeah. Um, and that just, like, skyrocketed, like, our... Yeah, so shout out to our, Candy. Yeah. She She's really... I love favorite. Candy. I love... Yeah. She, you know what I love person. about her? I feel her like and she... Todd, yeah, she's so city. genuine. You see them, they yes. speak to everybody, they show everybody love. She's that, very so, genuine. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, we weren't even expecting, like, for her to even, like, do that. So she had, like, a little post or something on Facebook. And a couple of our friends tagged us in the post, but it was so many other, like, you know, black businesses that were posted mm -hmm. under this post. Right. But, you know, she reached out to us, mm -hmm. did a whole, like, video, like, for yeah. our company. So I think that was the big, like... Yeah, that was a... Because we were kind of going, you know, we were kind of feeling, like, defeated a little bit, and then that just, like, happened. And then, right. like, we just... It's just yeah. like, let's do this. So that was going to be my next question. Like, mm -hmm. say, for instance, somebody may be watching this, and they, mm -hmm. you know, they at that moment where they're like, man, fuck it. Like, what, what words of encouragement or, you know, lesson would you give them to try to stay in there and keep going and keep pushing? Because everybody yeah. needs those moments yeah, they of, do. They you know, do. affirmation where they can say, all right, this is not, I'm not about to give up. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I would say for me, and I mean, you could probably answer this differently. I think for me, like, I'm very big on journaling and writing things. Mm -hmm. So whenever I feel like something is, like, not going according to plan, I write down how I want it to go to, yeah. you know, to plan. And I literally write it as if it has already happened. And so I would say, You're like, you magic know. magic type shit, huh? She's a manifester. No. Oh. <laughs> but I would say, you know, last year, like, that's what I did with my business and even my own personal, you know, business that, like, yeah. I have going on as a trainer. I wrote what I wanted to do, and most of all, everything just started falling in place. But it's yeah. when you think it's not going to work, it is going to yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that is real. Once yeah. you can take it out your mind and you put mm -hmm. it into the physical world, yeah. that's the first yeah. step. What would you say? And I would say for me, it's more so like I think when I started a business, I feel like there's like an expectation that everybody's supposed to support you when you start a business. And I think if you get so like tied down and thinking that who don't support you and start, you know, paying attention to who don't support you, you kind of lose focus on you know, how to drive your business forward. So I think my advice to people is like, A, focus more on who is supporting you and less about who isn't supporting you because that small amount of support can get your business in front of the right people and that's gonna drive so much support your way. So like focusing on the end goal and not like in the present moment, I would say that. Because if yeah. I stopped in the present moment, I would have stopped a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you never supposed to stop. That's what this whole <laughs> spotlight is about. It's about, you know, people who are out there Pursuing their dreams yeah. and making things happen, you know, the unconventional way. Definitely. So where yeah. can they find you or your products and things of that nature? Well, they can go to um, our website, which is www.ivculture with the K, K U L T U R E dot com. And then you'll see like a selection of all our newest colors that just dropped, um, as well as some other products that we sell and a little bit about our brand and how we're trying to bring health back to the forefront uh, in the beauty industry. That's what's up, man. <laughs> well, shit, I hope all the ladies see it. And yes. It's like, yep, going vegan with it. I know. Or but, men, I mean, it's something that like them. Yeah, if you want to, anybody yeah, that like polish. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see all the colors. I just saw, like, you know, yeah. these. I didn't know that y'all had yeah. some everybody colors. <laughs> <laughs> We, yeah. need to, we need that name, though. I'm not saying that you're not supposed yeah. to. I mean, it's a whole lot of right. dudes who love some nail polish. Mm -hmm. and they have all types of phases of, you know, things Just of that, that nail, nature yeah. that they going okay. through. So, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, gotta, it's, for, it's for everybody, every age. Anybody with fingers. If you basically. got fingers, <laughs> yeah, you need if to you wear got polish. fingers, you can wear it. Yes. Basically, yeah. <laughs> and it's just that, you know, it's, it's healthy. I think that's the, you know, a big driving point for me. Um, just because, especially like black women, we put so much stuff like on our skin, on mm -hmm. our hair. Right. That it, you know, it caused birth defects. And there's a lot of things that you don't even know that you put in that's, you know, in the half of these beauty yeah. products. So I think if you want to chew the nail polish, you should go with the healthy route. Like, yeah, that's definitely. something that you need to. And do not eat it. No, don't, don't eat it. Listen, y'all listen. You think that you won't have to say it's, this, but after the recent events. I know, you're right. We you definitely know. have and it's on our to website. Y'all try to sue us. But we, put it it's it's on only for your fingers and toes. <laughs> do y'all have a toe. separate toenail polish line? You, somebody said somebody that. Somebody said we should. I mean, what you mean? I'm just saying. But you can put the same, this same polish oh, on your nails. Yeah, I have the same one. I know that, but I'm saying. I was thinking that you're talking about like someone asked us if we have like press on toenails. I'm like, that's 
kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, that'd be a little strange. People yeah. do press on toenails. I know they, they do. They do acrylic on their toes sometimes. I, I, I know. Yeah. yeah, you should get into that. I can't do that. <laughs> the toenail business is at least a billion dollar industry. <laughs> Motherfuckers got 10 toes on that. <laughs> the average, man. Some people have 12. Stop. I mean, some of them do, though. Yeah, How long I, does fingernail polish do last? Like, it, I mean, it depends on like your roughness, like how you know active you are. But I would say our polish at least lasts between seven to ten days. Oh. Yeah. Are you saying a bottle, yeah. or are you saying oh. like wearing polish? No. Nah, how long does the, the on average does a woman it's keep had, a bottle? Of fake, oh, a bottle of polish. It has a lifespan, and then it's what people keep it for. You know what I'm saying? Some people have polish around it and have for like 15 years. But That's yeah, what I'm saying. Because the yeah. average yeah. woman got about 500 yeah. of them. Yeah. And it can change. I mean, it varies between like I would say. Safely, like five to seven years, I, I would not hold on Keep to anything. the same polish. Yeah. Y'all do like custom order. People can hit you and get like their own custom color. Custom color. We t we thought about doing that. Remember when we was gonna launch that our own color? That get stressful having them. Yeah. Well, we do do custom like press ons. So people do mm -hmm. like you know make requests on different press ons that they want, um, but not like the polish. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People be requesting all kind of crazy stuff. You know. Yeah. They don't know what. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> It's better you if you just it. give it to them. We What's know what some they of the want. craziest requests or questions people have asked about, you know, your product? Um, besides the toenail. Well, besides that, I would say the craziest. I think we had a kid ask us, "Can they eat it?" Yeah. Or like, you know, like, no. Or I think it's like when people like when you have a brand and like you start saying it's healthy and stuff, and then people come up like with cool ideas, like I love your brand. It'll be really cool if you had it, like you know, for a nail biter. So that we can eat the polish, you know, since it's vegan. Like it would be real cool if you had a polish line like for the nail yeah. biters. So when we eat the polish, it's not toxic for us. I mean, we get all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be dope. Yeah. Wait, yeah, that'd be people, dope. I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, mm -mm. I can see it now. Stop. Them YouTube <laughs> people go get their nails done. And they, now you yeah, can taste it. Do that. <laughs> now you can taste it. Then no. somebody else gonna make a reaction video. Reaction to the lady eating her nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do that on YouTube. That's but so I feel true. like we get that at least once a year. Like, are y'all gonna make it so it's more edible so people can, you know, I'm a nail biter. You I might really need love to look to get... into that. It's a market for it if people keep asking. I mean, I feel like people like their nails look nice. Like, oh, yeah. Huh. I feel like it's certain things for certain stuff. Yeah. If you wanna eat your nails, you need your nails done. You smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's that same. But they both do kind of make sense. Like, like if oh, they the had a thing, say for, oh. for people who get nervous, like you could just eat it all. <laughs> and it calm you down. <laughs> lemon pepper, calories. that should fly in oh, Atlanta. No. Yellow that nails that taste like lemon pepper. <laughs> I mean, I might try those. If See, you if want some now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, what would we call it though? Like, he just said it. Lemon, lemon pepper, pepper wet? Lemon pepper wet. I like that. Lemon purple wet? <laughs> we got too many fingernail polish ideas. <laughs> Gotta look into that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You can, yeah, you, that could actually, it's a lot of things right there. You could have the nail polish for people who trying to stop smoking or people who fucking <laughs> got anxiety and get nervous, they can calm down. Oh my God. Bro, I'm, just, I'm getting into this. Eat your nail. Y'all done brought nail? me into the, I'm in the finger uh, were, polish like, business. <laughs> It's like, oh, this is 250 calories. Oh, people who need to gain weight. Stop. Oh, yeah, uh -uh. that'd be hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Huh? Cannabis. Cannabis infused. <laughs> Get high through that. your fingers. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, be in the club like that. this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, no. I'm trying to drive home, man. <laughs> My hands is high as fuck. Stop. <laughs> That'll be hard. I mean, that could be. Yeah. But actually, I'm using it in like a lot of beauty products. So. How often do you paint your nails in a week? I usually. Since you got your own line. Yeah. I mean, I I wear press on, so I change my nails like every other two, she every do. other day. To be like. Yep. Yeah. And I work out, and these don't like they literally. How quick can you take them off? Say, for instance, somebody was talking <laughs> shit. Oh, and I you can take them off immediately like that. They just, yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, if somebody was talking, stop. Yeah, no. Well, yeah. Because you go get all your sisters. And... Oh, yeah, she got, she got backup. That's what's up. Man, y'all yeah. got on social media and all that? 
We do. Yeah. So like our page is at I V Culture with a K K U L T U R E. Well, there you have it, folks. This has been another Black Excellence Spotlight. <laughs> Courtesy Thank of the 85 you. South Show. <laughs> Stop biting your nails. <laughs> Get you some of this vegan nail polish that you cannot eat. That you cannot eat. My name is Please Carlos eat. Miller. This is Taja. And I'm Toy. And we out of here. We'll yeah. see y'all. <laughs>